back in Singapore. So we had basically only one thrift store that my friends and I went to and it was horrible. And it wasn't in racks like it is here, like it was a huge like bin on the floor. My friend fell into the tub of clothes because she was so eager to like get this like, I don't know what it was like I think it was a pair of pants from the bottom of the pile it, like fell into it and this old lady was like looking at us like ugh young people this is Anyu a student at NYU from Singapore upon moving to New York City she finally got to experience the joy of American thrifting which thrift store is she jaywalking to right now you might ask um I like like the basic ones in New York like Al Train and East Village and some spots in Brooklyn but I feel like the one that we're gonna go to today it has become one of my favorites. I've only been there once, so I'm excited to go back again and see what I can find. What is this place? It's it's just down the block from me in Alphabet City. It's, I think it's called East Village Thrift Store, if I'm correct. And she was correct. A hidden gem right by Tompkins Square Bagels on the 2nd Avenue. East Village Thrift Shop had clothing racks and a unique type of wear displayed even outside on that sunny day in New York City. What are you looking for today? I think I'm looking forward to more spring clothes because like hopefully it's going to get warmer soon so then I can stop wearing sweaters and coats all the time. What are your biggest frustrations while thrifting? I think what makes me frustrated is sometimes because I use thrifting as like an alternative to buying fast fashion but it's kind of frustrating sometimes when I see like sheen clothes like on the rack like stuff like that and they're being sold like at $20. Anya was going for earrings, pants, too many tops, and then she finally found, ladies and gentlemen, her. The scream spring. You're gonna get it? Yeah, I'm gonna get it. And then she didn't get the skirt. Never mind, it was $20. As today showed, thrifting has its ups and downs, but Anyu does not plan on abandoning the sustainable and, usually, affordable alternative to fast fashion anytime soon. In Manhattan, New York City, Alona Varova and Lee Journalism.